If you're looking to buy coins, then go and check out ufifa.com, which will be down below in the description. Currently one of the cheapest coin sites around. And if you use my discount code, which is BeachHD, you get yourself a 5% discount. Other than that, guys, enjoy the video. What is up, guys? BeachHD here. And today, as you can see on your screen, we have got the top 50 players in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team that EA are releasing over the period of the next four to five days. And today we have got, they've just released the top, I think it's 41 to 50, so the top is at what, nine? So anyway, before we go into them, we would great. Try and smash 350 likes, guys. Try to get this out nice and quick for you guys that don't follow it on Twitter. Other than that, we can go subscribe to me and then we're pretty much ready to go into the 50th best player on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. The official ratings are, there we go, Cialini. It's 84 rated, so he's got a minus two downgrade on his full overall card. Not sure if he's gone a little bit, a little bit slower, but his defense and heading stats still look very, very good, or his physical stats still look very, very good in my opinion. And then his two-star weak foot and two-star skill moves there. Going into the 49th, we've got Perlo, an 84 rated card. So again, another downgrade, I do believe. I think he was an 86 rated as well. And look at that, 43 pace, guard that. That must be a hefty downgrade, but you still got 91 passing, which is still there. Full style weak foot as well, which is not too bad, but I don't think I'll be using him much in FIFA 15, to be honest with you. Alonso has got a downgrade as well. All these players have got downgrades. Jeez, he is over at Bay Munich. Now he's got 71 shots, 86 passing, 72 physical, and uh, four star weak foot and two star skill moves in there as well. So, from there, we're pretty much ready to go into the 47th overall best rated player on FIFA 15, who's going to be Casillas. I was pretty surprised at that one, to be honest with you. Even though he's been playing bad, you know, he's still going to be Madrid's number one keeper this season. I, still, uh, I think 85 would have been a little bit more realistic, a little bit better for him. And no, uh, this is a downgrade of two, which I think is a little bit too much. But, you know, I guess it's not too bad people to be able to afford him now. Number 46 is Fabregas, another surprising one for me. I know. He's not had an amazing season at Barcelona, but he's definitely not been that bad, surely. I just I just can't imagine him being that bad, especially he's started incredibly well. Even though it's not rated off how he's playing at Chelsea at the moment, he's still started very, very brightly there. He's got 88 passing there, 81 dribbling, and a three-star weak foot. Galeris, 85 rated overall. He's got an upgrade of plus one, which I think is fair enough. You know, yeah, that's okay. And uh, 86 dive and 88 reflexes, 81 position and 81 handling in there. And I'd be okay with that. He's probably not going to be too expensive on FIFA either. So be pleased. It, was good. it looks like a good keeper that everyone will be able to afford. 44 is going to be Martinez and he's a centre-back. That surprised me. I didn't know he was playing centre-back, to be honest with you. I haven't really followed him much, to be honest, over at Bay Munich. But 84 defensive stats, 85 physicality. 61 shots, 72 passing, and 68 dribbling. He again has got the same rating, but it's more just a position change for him. Number 43 is Busquets, who stayed pretty much the same rating, 85 rated centre defensive mid. For him, he's got three star weak foot and three star skill moves, and all of his stats I'm pretty sure are around about the same. As he were on FIFA 14, there's nothing really new about him except they don't have a diving stat for him. And from there, we're ready to go on to number 42, who is a Boa Tang. He's got an upgrade of plus one from his 84. No, a plus two from his 83 card on FIFA 14. And he's got 77 pace, 83 defending, 82 physicality. And uh, I'm going to be using that card, I expect, quite a bit. Just purely for the pace on the centre-back. And uh, that's pretty much why I'll be using him. Now, number 41, Juan Mata. To finish off the video, he has been downgraded by one, which I guess is okay. At least he's still in that central cam position. Type of roll, 74 pace, 75 short, 84 passing, and 87 dribbling from him. So, guys, tomorrow, if you, if you want more of these, you can be released straight away tomorrow. Just like this one, just let me know. Try and smash the like button, 350 likes, and we'll have tomorrow the 40 to 30 best players. So, subscribe to me if you aren't already. I'll see you next video, guys. Bye-bye.